Hey guys, Brother Monroe here, and welcome to City Skylines. Not a game that I feature very often on uh, my content, but uh, I felt there was a need to explain these things. Oh, sorry, the in game music is a little bit loud there. Let me just fix that. Um, the problem is. If you are new to City Skylines and you've kind of delved into it, traffic management is a huge part of it. And most people build crossroads uh, like this with traffic lights. And in the default game, those don't work very well. And you're perhaps noticing that this there's something a little bit different about this traffic light. And that is because I have set up a timed traffic light with the TMPE version 11 mod. And I'll put a description um I link down in the description of the video, um, so you can go and download that. Um, and if you think, oh, I've heard of these, I'll go and set those up. I won't bother with a wrap. I'm not going to build a roundabout or anything like that. I'm going to try and uh, do time traffic lights. And then you discover, to your horror, that uh, it's very difficult and there are no tutorials. So that's what I'm going to aim to do today. And I'm going to stop uh, mumbling about it. So. Uh, as you can see, I've got time traffic lights here, um, which I am just going to. Uh, okay. Slip node. Stop. And I'm just going to take it off. Okay, and then we'll see what the default traffic system is. Now, I've got uh, two lane roads here, but this works equally well with uh, three lane roads going each way. Um, and the first thing you want to do uh, before you get into the time traffic lights itself is to make sure that you have your junction set up correctly. Now you can either do that using just the simple arrow tool, making sure that you have a left, left and a right turning lane and straight on lane. Um, just make sure that that's all set up. If you've got three lanes, then I tend to uh, like Let's get a three lane road up. So if you've got a road like this one, then uh, a pretty effective setup is to make sure that your against traffic lane is a dedicated turning lane. Uh, and then the other two lanes, well, either you have a dedicated learning turning lane for going with traffic or you have, uh, have it like this. Either of those setups is fine. Um, and if you are sticking with two lane roads like this, then uh, the simplest setup is just to have both lanes being able to go forwards, one for a left turn, one for a right turn. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, I'm British, so I am using left hand traffic, but this all works for right hand traffic as well. Anyway, once you've got your lane set up, um, hit pause to stop the simulation, click on the TMP boot, TMPE button and time traffic lights and then click on the node that you want and you notice it changes color um, and then off the two buttons you just want to set up a timed traffic light you can link time traffic lights uh, but that is beyond the scope of this particular video now this is a slightly intimidating thing uh, but do not worry uh, we're going to, to make this very simple. So the first thing you want to do is simply hit Add Step at the top here. So hit Add Step, and you get into this menu, which again looks quite um, intimidating, but it's it's pretty simple. So up the up top here, you have minimum time and maximum time. These traffic lights are smart. So basically, what happens is uh, the game waits until the minimum time has elapsed, and then after the minimum time has elapsed, switch to the next step if and this is the default one, there are more people waiting than driving, and then it clicks over, or if it reaches the maximum time. So what we're going to do for this first step, we're going to deal with all the pedestrians. So we're going to say that the max maximum time is 5, we're going to keep all the traffic lights red, so all the traffic will be stopped, and you see here, sometimes it says manual, sometimes it says auto, just make sure they're all on manual, all the pedestrian buttons, and that they are all on green. So we're going to hit add. So that is our first step. No traffic, all the pedestrians go. And that's it. If there are no pedestrians, then we automatically move on to the next step. So add step. 
This time, this is for traffic, so we're going to change that maximum time from 5 to 20. Remember, it will switch automatically if there's no traffic flowing through the junction. And all we're going to do is we're going to set this traffic light to green. And we're going to set all the pedestrians to red. So no pedestrians can go, and only traffic from this direction can go, and they can go any which direction they want. And then hit Add. And then all we're going to do is go to the next step, carries the 20 seconds over, that's nice. We're going to stop this traffic from this direction, and we're going to allow traffic to go from this direction. And we hit Add, and then Add Step, and we're red, and then green, and then Add, Add Step, and then red, and then green, and then Add. So we have five steps, five states, as the, the game kind of calls it. Um, first one is for pedestrians, and then we have um, each direction going at once. And this is a very, very simple setup. Um, you can get a lot more complicated where, for instance, at the moment this one is green, so traffic will be going like this, like this, and like this, which means you could allow traffic to turn uh, right here. Um, and you can do that if you wish by if you, uh, you you can you can do turning lanes you can do all sorts of things like this so if you what have I done <laughs> don't do that okay so if you go go back into it and we just hit start this will activate the time traffic light and what we're going to do now is we're going to unpause and you will see that this is state one all the pedestrians are going there aren't any pedestrians so the game automatically Moves on to this one, there were hardly any cars, so it went green very briefly and then stopped. Now it's green for this direction, and there's a lot more traffic coming from this direction. So it's probably going to get longer, but now all the traffic's gone, so it goes red, and then all this traffic can move. And it shows you here, highlighted, which stage you're on, which step you're on. And then it will just cycle back to the start and allow all your pedestrians to go. There weren't very many, so then it allows the traffic. Um, simple as that, really. And that allows you for much, much better flow in and out um, and through junctions like this, which is really handy if you've already put you know, buildings and things, you don't want to demolish them and put in roundabouts or, or you know, full-on intersections or anything like that. You just, you just want a traffic light that works. And that's a really simple setup for doing that. Um, I hope that's useful. It's very short, kept short deliberately. If you've got any questions, you want to see anything else um, City Skylines tutorial related, let me know down in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.